guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a chat um, about a topic that is really important to me and that I've wanted to talk about for a long time and I just never have properly fully addressed it and I thought that today I would do it finally. So yeah, I've never really done a video like this before on my channel but yeah, thought it might be a good idea. So today's video is about academic burnout as you probably know from the title. Um, it's something that has played a large role in my life for the past year or so and this is a study tube channel um, so there are some things that I wanted to address and yeah I wanted to talk about this so hopefully if you're going through something similar you know that you're not alone it gets better um, and also possibly to help prevent you from getting in this situation. First things first I wanted to touch on study with me's because these can be a breeding ground of overworking yourself. I don't know whether that actually makes sense but what I'm trying to get at is a lot of study with me's on this platform can sometimes be a bit unrealistic and I'm not talking about like unrealistic in the sense that like it's not doable or like that person didn't actually do that much studying um, but unrealistic in the sense that they're not sustainable um, and in the sense that that person probably doesn't do that every single day like there are study with me's that are like 14 hours long and when you see that it's so easy to compare yourself to other people and especially with like study tubers you can watch these videos and be like they're getting these really good grades and they're studying so much and they're working so hard why aren't I working right now or like why aren't I studying this much I should be putting in more hours um, and realistically that is not necessary firstly it's not a case of like how many hours you work anyway it's the quality of the work that you're doing and secondly there really isn't much need to be working over 10 hours a day and I am such a culprit of this which is why I'm kind of making this video addressing it because I was watching one of my study with me's recently that I made last was it last year um, it was in year 13 study leave so right before my a-levels and I counted up how many hours I did of work that day from like the timestamps that I put of like how long I spent on each thing and it was over 11 hours of work and that's like not including breaks or anything that's just how long I was working and I was just there like that is ridiculous like I spent 11 hours working in a day I then filmed it and uploaded it to YouTube and obviously I did do that amount of work that day like I'm not lying about it but I definitely didn't do 11 hours every day um, and even though yes I did work really long hours first of all it really everything seems to take me so much longer to get done finish like you could do the things that I get done in a day in much less time I don't know why I spend ages on everything everything just takes me longer than it really should and that's just it's been that way for a while um, and also I completely burnt myself out through doing that I worked too long for so many days and it's really not worth it that's basically what I'm trying to say and I really don't want you to feel bad if you watch study with me's like that um, and think to yourself like I should be working like that like why aren't I working as long as that and stuff like that because it's not worth it in the long run and you really don't need to do it nowadays I literally for the past year of my academic career um, at uni I the most that I worked in a day was eight hours I think like I managed eight hours once of like proper work and the rest of the time it was five or six hours average um, if that and this was in exam season and somehow I still managed to get a 2-1 and I'm incredibly happy with that and I know that it's not the best grade or whatever and I know that I'm so lucky to have gotten that considering the year that I've had which we'll get on to in a minute but 
like I got that grade not having spent 10 plus hours a day working so it's really really not necessary and I really just wanted to stress this because I know that when I am like having a bad day and I'm not very motivated and I'm not doing anything if I watch a study with me where it's like super like woo let's go productive I get so like I just feel so bad about myself because I'm like I should be working like why aren't I working and realistically like we all have bad days we all have days that we don't work as hard or we don't work at all and that's completely fine and not spending 10 hours a day revising does not mean that you're not going to get a good grade i know with retrospect that i could have gotten the same grades that i got at a level if i hadn't done as much work and yes granted my mark may not have been as high as it was but it would have been the same grade and like there's no guarantee that my mark wouldn't have been as high and looking back like I made so many mistakes like my whole life revolved around just work and academics like I did nothing else besides my job and revising and that is my biggest regret probably to date because in the long run it really has negatively impacted me I think you honestly probably don't need to do as much work as you think you do and I'm not saying this as though like you shouldn't work hard but by the same token you shouldn't overwork yourself and I know that a lot of people are probably like me in the sense that you doubt yourself you think that you're not going to get the grades that you want and so you need to work super 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 hard to get them and you're not going to leave anything to chance so you're just gonna overwork yourself and it's all gonna be great but it's not gonna be great and I think sometimes it's worth having a little bit of self-belief this year I've tried to be as realistic as possible like through my vlogs and stuff I have showed like the lows of my university journey for this past year and I did have some study with me's that weren't as like super productive um so there was like one that I filmed over a week where that week just wasn't the best week it was like a below average revision week for me um but I decided to still upload it because that's like realistic that's what happens we all have weeks where we really don't get as much work done as we want to and I think it's really important to acknowledge that and kind of put that out there because when you look at a study tube channel it can be so like disheartening when you see video after video of everything going perfectly and just videos of like successes and really like productive videos days whatever but in reality that's not the case and all of us struggle and realistically a video is such a small proportion of that person's day like if it's a study with me it's what 10 minutes of a 12 plus hour day like that is crazy and vlogs are just half an hour of my two week three week period that I film them over so videos are just such a small proportion of people's lives and it can be really easy to like cut it down to just all the good bits and all the productive bits where you're working and not obviously film and put in the parts where you're sat on the sofa just procrastinating on your phone for half an hour because no one wants to watch that but like just remember that that does happen and we're not just sat working all day every day and that's definitely not what happened this year <laughs> Um, so moving on to that, I think I completely burnt myself out by the end of A-levels, like totally. I thought that the summer between like A-levels and university was going to be enough just to like recover, recuperate, regenerate and start university fresh, but apparently it wasn't and I have had a really tough year because of that, which is why I'm saying please try not to burn yourself out. I couldn't even like enjoy med school because I just literally did not want to do anything. I felt so out of love with academia and learning, like I just didn't want to do anything. And that was really hard because all I'd wanted to do as long as I could remember was be a doctor, go to Cambridge. And I was there, like everything that I wanted had happened and yet I literally couldn't even enjoy like the subject that I was studying because I didn't want to 
learn like I didn't want to do anything I was so sick and tired of having to revise and for someone who has always like prided themselves on being really academic and that was really like my thing I guess I didn't have a lot of things um but that I knew that I was good at and now that I literally could not force myself to like sit down and revise it was hard and it just felt like I was wasting my time and I had wasted all my time trying to get there. It caused so much stress because it was the first time that I actually thought I could fail. Like failure at A-level and GCSE meant not getting the A-star, whereas at this point I was like I could actually fail my first year. Like it was a very real possibility and just generally like I wasn't able physically to like work as much as I wanted to. I was constantly tired. I was constantly demotivated and it really like you can tell in the long run like it just wasn't worth putting in so many hours and doing so much at a level to then get to university get to where you want to be and to like not make the most of it and not get anything really out of it it's literally only now that like my drive and my motivation that kind of stuff is coming back and that makes me so happy because it's obviously been a slow path back to my A-level and to be fair I don't want to go back to my A-level self but just like half of what my A-level self was um, would be good but like we're slowly getting there and I have days where like I want to work and like I want to get things done and it just makes me so happy and it's not like I'm being like dramatic and lazy and like oh I burnt myself out I just couldn't be bothered doing anything like I wanted to and like I've always been an academic person and I've always been a hard-working person and I want to work hard and I want to achieve and I want to finish med school I want to be a doctor and so if you're in a situation where you feel like you're spending every living breathing moment of your life just working and revising and cramming stuff into your brain just have a think about whether that's going to be worth it because whilst you might not get burnt out and you might be able to carry on for however much longer you want and you're going to be fine you could end up in a situation like this and you really don't want to i just thought that for some context i'd quickly add in what i actually did in sick form because when i think about this it's actually crazy to me that i did this and like it's no surprise to me that i feel slash felt how I did um, this past year and it's basically like a what not in capital letters to do. I moved to a completely different like area of the country for sick form so I didn't know anyone when I got here like absolutely no one. So when I first got to sick form obviously I didn't know anyone. I find it like hard to make friends or like it takes me a while so initially I spent every spare moment of my time in school in like the silent study room and I would get my homework done literally before I got home um, and I would already have done like loads of practice questions also before I even got home and then obviously as the term progressed I started making notes after school like typing up all my notes from all my lessons from that day and revising for like end of topic tests after school and it was turning into like I would spend every moment I was awake pretty much revising and doing something that's kind of what it felt like obviously as I made friends I would sit with them and chat with them but I would still be half working in break times lunch times my freeze so that lasted like the whole of year 12 um, by the end of year 12 I think I was already pretty dead um, I would be taking naps after school which was crazy because I before that point I couldn't nap like now napping is not surprising for me um, but at that point like I had never been able to nap because I just can't get to sleep easily but I was napping after school every single day um, bear in mind I did have a job for like most of year 12 and the whole of year 13 so I had that every day after school for like two hours and the summer after year 12 like between year 12 and year 13 was not particularly relaxing I had to revise for the UK cat I had to do loads of work experience and 
I just spent my whole summer doing that. I didn't really have time to like switch off, chill properly. And then year 13 hit like a ton of bricks. Let me tell you, um, that term was horrible. I had my personal statement and UCAS. Then I had to revise for the BMAT. Then I had to prepare for interviews and read loads of medical books. And then I had to actually do my interviews. And all in between that, I had schoolwork. So yes, like I did a lot less work in that term, but I had so much more going on anyway. I would just like do my homework, revise for tests, whatever. And then after that term was done, I had to catch up on all my notes. So you probably saw the study vlogs that I filmed in that Christmas. I had to catch up on typing up all my notes and try and like revise the stuff from that term. And then the next term started and at that point it was like A-level revision mode, like let's go, crunch time. And I pretty much carried the whole thing of like spending every free break lunch doing revision and then continuing revising at home. And it was starting to dwindle, like by the time A-levels came, I really already did not want to do any work. I found it so hard to like get myself to like work but it wasn't the same as it was at university, like I still made myself do it. Please don't do that, um, it was not a good idea and I've just, I've really wanted to like get this off my chest and put it out there because it's my story and I wanted to share it just in case there's anyone out there who's interested or is going through a similar sort of thing. Um, so to round off this video, don't compare yourself to study with me's on YouTube and just take them with a pinch of salt. Um, don't overwork yourself, but still keep the grind on, you know, to a reasonable level. And yeah, just go smash the next school year. So thank you very much for sitting through this ramble of a video. Um, if you enjoyed it, or found it useful or interesting or whatever then do give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel um, my social medias are always in the description box and yeah I will see you in my next video which will hopefully not be as rambly but I wouldn't really hold myself to that <laughs> bye